Good morning, everyone. Here we are, another day. <laughs> now, what we have here is the Indramat Servo Drive, and it's a model number TDM 1.2-50-300W1. Now, down here is the bus power supply, and its model number is TVM. 2.1-050-220-300-W1-115-220. <laughs> That's a mouthful, isn't it? But the complaint with the servo drive is that the base block, B little B LED is not turning on, and the B little B contacts are not closing right here. So I've got it hooked up and we're going to try to duplicate that problem. Let me set this piece of paper down right here. Now I've got my drawings of the BB, the base block relay contacts right here. And what turns that relay on? Now I didn't draw it all the way out. I just wanted to see where this relay was. Whether it was a relay output because sometimes they're open collector transistor outputs. But uh, we'll look at this in a little bit. We'll get closer to my drawings right here. And we'll explain what's going on. Uh, we're going to apply 220 volts AC to the bus power supply. And that will power up this drive right here. Let me go around and uh, we'll turn everybody on. All right, let's power up the bus power supply and the servo drive. We'll turn on the 220 volts AC3 phase to the bus power supply. Let's see what we got. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Our base block LED is turned on. Huh. It appears that our Complaint is invalid. <laughs> uh, let's get closer to the drive and you can see that that LED is turned on. And we'll check the contact resistance. It's possible that the relay is bad. Here are our LEDs. Now, this LED indicates to us that the plus 24 volts and the plus and minus 15 volts are good. BLC1. BLC2 and BLC3 are the Hall Effect inputs. Now I'm using my Hall Effect encoder simulator to apply a simulated Hall Effect to the servo drive. And right now BLC3 is high. BLC1 and BLC2 are low Hall Effect inputs. Here's the TAC input. Now I've got that jumped to ground. The documentation for this drive says if you're not using a tack, you can jump that to ground. Here's the power LED. The power LED comes on when 300 volts DC is applied to that servo drive. And here is our base block LED. Look, that LED is on. <laughs> now, we're going to go over and check the contacts to make sure that the base block relay contacts are closed with that relay being energized. Now from our, our drawings you'll see that when this base block LED is on the uh, 24 volts is applied to the coil of that base block relay. Now let's check the contact resistance of the base block relay. All right, let's get out of diode mode. We'll go to resistance. We have 0.7.8 ohms of contact resistance. Subtract the 0.2 ohms from my meter leads, and we have about 0.5 ohms of contact resistance. That's good. That resistance is very low. So that tells us that the relay is energized. 
the green base block LED is on and the contact resistance is zero. Let's create a problem and see if we can get that base block LED to turn off. I'm going to disconnect my Hall Effect simulator from this connector right here so that we have no Hall Effect input and we'll see how the drive comes up. Go over here and turn power off. Disconnect your simulator. Okay, that's disconnected. Now what we'll do, we'll move the camera back over in front of the LEDs and we'll see if that base block LED is on or off when we create a malfunction. With no Hall Effect input, that's a malfunction. That's a fault. And this drive with a fault should not be able to come up out of base block. Let's see how this drive powers up when we have the Hall Effects disconnected. Look at that. Our base block LED is off. And when that base block is not enabled, when it's not turned on, this drive will not run a motor. It's disabled. It looks like we don't have a problem. <laughs> it is good. It is good. Okay, I'm going to hook up our Hall Effects again, and we're going to run this drive with a light bulb load. Let's power down, we'll plug everything back up, and we will run. And if all works well, we'll be done with this job. Okay, applying 220 volts AC three phase to the bus power supply. Okay. I'm going to enable the output of my Hall Effect encoder simulator. Okay, you can see that BLC1, BLC2, BLC3 are sequencing in the Hall Effect uh, sequence. Let's enable the drive, and when we enable the drive, the RF LED will turn on. And we have an output to the light bulb bank. We'll back up so you can see the light bulbs as they sequence through UVW, A1, A2, A3. Here's the base block relay circuit. Now we measured zero ohms of contact resistance out here at the BB terminals. That when the relay was energized, these contacts would close. Now, to energize this relay, this AND gate outputs a high if both inputs are high. Uh, and that applies a positive voltage through this 20 kilo ohm resistor to pin 7 of this ULN2003. This is open collector. There's an NPN transistor in here, Darlington. So when we turn on that NPN transistor, pin 10 goes low. And with pin 10 low, we have current flow from the plus 24 volt DC power supply flows through this LED illuminating that LED through the coil energizing that relay. Now down here pin 4 is also applied to pin 1 of the same AND gate and I imagine that the output of this AND gate down here enables that drive to run. I'm going to go turn the overhead lamps off so you can see those light bulbs a little bit better in the dark. I'll be right back.
a pretty sight. That's a good servo drive. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, y'all. Hope y'all's doing okay out there. We're not doing too bad here. Saturday, <laughs> I went out with my daughter and, and her children, my grandchildren, and we had a good old day. We went and had breakfast. Then we went to a nature store. We like going to a nature store and uh, looking at uh, and getting herbs and things like that. And then after that, we went to a used bookstore. I like books. And my children and grandchildren like books. I hope you all got to spend some time with your families. And that, that's really important. Spend time with your families. Because as you age, <laughs> and you get closer to the other side, and you look back, and, and you think to yourself, that wasn't a bad life, was it? It was all right. And your children, when they get older, they'll look, uh, they'll look back at you and they'll say, you know what, Grandpa and Grandma, they were all right. <laughs> okay, enough of me uh, getting scatterbrained and thinking about things. There it is. She's a good drive. She can go back to where she come from and do a little bit more work. I think maybe we ought to ask the customer if they got a problem with their machine because right here we don't have a problem. <laughs> okay. Y'all have a good life. And we'll see you next time. I really appreciate y'all. You're good folks. <laughs>